Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm not unboxing something brand new, but something very dear to my heart. It's the NAD C316 VEE version 2. This mighty little 40 watt amplifier has always grabbed headlines and attention, and it's one of the reasons I'm sharing it with you today. It's the small and mighty little entry-level analog amplifier from NAD that simply can't put its foot wrong for the price. It features a wonderful phono preamp, multiple analog inputs, great sound, easy to use remote control. But one of the reasons I'm sharing it with you is that this thing has dynamics and power like nothing else in its price. It's rated to something like 100 watts in its dynamics. It's amazing as far as its ability to sort of grip those momentary pulses of sound and, and clearly control speakers that most amplifiers anywhere near its price would never get close to doing. While maintaining just such a warm natural sound, this is such a darling little amplifier, which is why I'm so proud to share it with you today. Right, so look, NAD. Very, very muted packaging. You'll see the uh, Simple line drawing, an implication with a sticker that's got a phono preamp on board. On one end we've got some scan information and serial numbers. The line drawing at the back showing all the inputs and outputs. And again an emulation of serial numbers. The unit has been opened in New Zealand and the power cord swapped out with one in New Zealand. Uh, for New Zealand I should say. Which is why it has a little funny sort of sticker on one end. But uh, it's as exactly as you would expect to see it once it gets to you in your home. Opening it's really, really easy. Okay, um, simple in the middle there. We've got uh, some basic information. We've got its manual and setup guide. Um, so this is a quick start guide. It's actually sealed with a big oversized piece of um, circular tape, little dot. The setup guide is very simple. It's all it needs to be. You're going to plug the power in. You're going to plug some speakers in. You're going to plug an analog source in, and away you go. So the self guide, the simple guide, is just a couple of sides. In the plastic bag is the uh, basic remote control. Now this is one of these sort of credit card style or size ones with uh, one of those little uh, pen uh, batteries. The remote is as simple as it re is required. Um, should you need a bigger remote control or you want to control more than one NAD thing, then invest in one of the larger remotes. But so many of the NAD uh, functions are controlled from the front nowadays. A simple remote like this is, is, is all that you will need. Taking it out of the box, it's very straightforward. It's worth noting just in the bottom, we've got a big thing of desiccant to keep the thing dry. A couple of pieces of polystyrene. Now, it's not, it's not very heavy, it's not very big, um, it's got quite a small bag because of course it's a small thing. Another circular dot holding it closed. And then the front of it is protected with one of those sort of cloth bags just to ensure that there's no hint of uh, scratching or any, any damage that could be done in transit. Now firstly, if I just tilt it forward, you'll see a huge toroidal power supply. This very traditional amplifier is, is of course getting all of its dynamics from the ability to convert and hold charge and deliver that power uh, at a moment's notice to the speakers. So having a big oversized power supply is part of this amplifier's charm. The front is very, very simple. We show a very um, noted NAD logo and a simple relay for on and off. It's a tricolor LED, uh, blue, red, and orange. Orange, you can stand by red if there's a problem. You've got a phono sticker that can be removed. You've got a six and a quarter headphone output. You've got a couple of analog inputs marked tuner, auxiliary, video, CD, and phono. Obviously, careful, the phono input is specific for a turntable. So don't plug a traditional input like a phone or a streamer or CD player into the phono input. And the last button is, is um, MP or, or uh, portable media player of some kind. It's a 3.5mm input. If it's anything like the previous model, uh, when, you, when you plug that in and select the input, it, 
it uh, turns off one of the rear inputs, allowing it to be a front temporarily. It's got an IR sensor relatively centrally located and then manual control of both bass and treble. There's a tone defeat button in the middle and a balance control off to one side. You've got a very simple traditional analog volume control, meaning that it has a stop point both at its high and low points. And uh, look, it's got a nice little grip to it as well. It doesn't feel too cheap despite its very budget price. Again, tipping it forward, you'll see it's a little baby of an amplifier as far as its size. And again, looking at that from the side, you'll see again it's not very deep. The back of it, again, simple and elegant. It's all that it needs to be. An excellent ground binding post for the purposes of your phono, um, phono earth. A phono input, clearly labelled and just ever so slightly off to one side to try and help avoid any confusion. There's a CD, video and auxiliary input along with the tuner, all clearly labelled left and right and colour delineated with white and red for the left and right inputs. Outputs are traditional binding posts. These have a good feel to them. They're well designed and easy to tighten with the fingers to be able to get good grip over bare wires or spades should they be entered from the top. These have a protection uh, cap to restrict the use of bananas, but these can easily be used with a small jeweler's screwdriver. We've got some basic information about voltage and uh, scan information for its serial number again, basic electrical uh, safety information, and then a basic rocker switch. So, there we have it. NAD's little baby integrated amplifier, the C316BEE version 2, unboxed here at the listening post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.